to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. One of the biggest concerns at the moment is the opioid epidemic, which is killing many, many thousands of people and making many, many more thousands, if not millions, addicts. Because the opioid is a painkiller, which of course uh, affects the pleasure area of the brain, causing addiction. But uh, a new study has come out, has found a much safer way where we can reduce pain, and that's just by holding each other's hands, and it actually does work. It's just the idea that we synchronize with the other person, we empathize with the person, we make human contact with another person, and their pain levels actually do drop. So isn't that a phenomenal thing? They did a, a study of this. Uh, it's a small group, admittedly, but nonetheless, it's still uh, significant. It's called interpersonal synchronization, where we do sort of reach out to another person. And um, it's not just the pain relief really goes down, but pain goes down, but also breathing, heart rate and brain waves fall into sync with the other person. And um, they even check this through EEG machines to see this phenomenon actually happening in the brains of the participants. And it, it, even if they didn't touch, just being in each other's company mm. seemed to have some positive effect on, on the other person. So isn't it quite remarkable that something as simple as this can actually reduce pain almost as effectively as an opioid or indeed any other pain relieving drug. Well, this isn't really surprising to me. Based on the other work that I've done for the field and my other books, um, there was a really great study done by the Institute of Noetic Sciences called the Love Study. And they wanted to see what would happen with couples where one of the partners had cancer. Um, if the other, the well partner, just sent them healing thoughts, just thought about them in a positive healing way. So they put them in two rooms, they hooked them up to all kinds of physiological equipment, including EEGs to measure brain waves, and they then had a, a camera in the ill partner's area, and then the well partner had a monitor, and every so often his partner's image would flash up, and that was his cue, or her cue, to send healing intention, healing thoughts to the other. So afterward, the scientists looked at all of their physiological readouts and they found just at the moment of healing thoughts, when those thoughts were sent, their brain waves started to synchronize, their skin conductance, the rate that their blood comes to the extremities synchronized, their breathing, their heart rate, um, brain waves, essentially everything was synchronizing. It was like two bodies become one. So this really indicates that we, there's a lot we don't really understand about just the power of being together, of thinking about someone else in a positive and loving way. That can have powerful effects on somebody's body. Just as a single ar argument they've shown in studies can delay somebody's wound healing by an entire day. So all of this interpersonal stuff has a lot to do with healing as well as love. Mm. And uh, just to add, because I know you won't do it because you're far too modest, but Lynn does have a secret life, and that's um, <laughs> what she calls the power of eight, where she has been doing healing with a number of groups, and it's been tracked by a number of universities. There have been 30-plus studies into it as well. And, um, you know, look it up. It's not on what doctors don't tell you, but it is on Lynn's own website. So take a look where you'll find more about holding hands and doing all sorts of things really does help people and and beyond pain relief i mean we've seen most remarkable results so you know check it out well worth it